Okay, so let's move on. So we are comfortable with computers. We know computer is pretty powerful. Bring, what well, it can do lots of things. And the magic behind the scenes is called programming, right? So even we see the computers, we have our keyboard, we have our screen, but the real magic is actually behind the scenes. It's called the programming, right? The software programming. So that's the magic happens. So we are comfortable with computer. That's a very good uh, first step. Uh, we are comfortable to use it. Uh, we probably use it as a, a consumer, right? Uh, someone create a software and we use it. And now we kind of switch to the angle. Uh, we are going to actually create something and we will create a software that we can use or potentially someone else can use. So the real magic around the programming, around the computer is actually called the programming. So what is the programming at all? Programming, pro uh, it's just a coding. Sometimes you say coding. Programming is just a way that you tell computer what you want computer to do. Okay, so you translate your idea in your mind into a way that computer can understand. So we say uh, programming. So that's the programming. So we normally do this through programming language. It's kind of language. It's like you text, um, you do texting to your friends, you text something, right? People talk to each other, communicate each other. That's the like a natural language. So when we want computer to do something, it's we're using something called the programming language, right? And we translate what's in our mind into something that computer can understand and eventually uh, it will do something that we want, right? So that's that's called the programming language. It's just like a language, like a English, French, Chinese, or whatever uh, natural language. So the real magic is in programming. Okay. So um, what is Python at all? Uh, Python is a programming language. So Python is a very popular programming language. It's very easy to learn, yet super powerful. It's a, it's not a toy. It can be used as a, a tool to learn programming, but it's also used by the professionals, uh, professionals in the real life, in the real world, right? Um, so it's a, it's a real programming uh, language. It's a very easy to learn and it's very powerful. Okay. So let's start do coding now. Okay, let's start do coding now, right now. Um, okay, let me uh, just uh, bring up my coding editor. Okay, so here is the my coding editor. Um, okay, and if we take a look at this, and it says print, and then hello world. Okay, so we basically want to computer to see something to say hello world. Like how do we do this? So we use print, hello world. So that's the programming language. So I'm here. I'm using Python obviously. This is my uh, code editor. I'm just typing. Uh, let me just create a new file first. Let's create a new file. I call it a demo, hello.py, and then I will say print. And then I will say hello world. Okay. I don't even need to save it. I just click on this uh, button here on the right top corner. I click on it and it will just run it and say hello world. Like how simple it is. If you want the computer to say something to the user, that's the way you do it. Just print hello world. You may want to say something else. Okay, so that's pretty easy to change. Once you have this idea, if you want to say, I want the computer to say something else, uh, we can easily change it. So whatever you type in here, um, it will, hello to, uh, welcome to Python with AI level one. Okay, if I do this, and then I, I just click on play here and say hello world, and then you say, welcome to Python with AI. Boom, right? And then you may say, oh, let's do something like differently. If you have some other idea you want to say, computer to say, maybe it's part of your like super cool game. And then you will say, you may say, 
Huh, welcome to my super cool game. And then you say, please enter password to start. Okay, um, so it could be part of your game, right? Um, and and you can you can try this out. Um, okay, so I'm just clean up my screen here, and then I'm just going to click on play button. So here you say, "Welcome to my super cool game. Please enter password to star." Okay, so that's how. That's the programming concept. You use the programming language. In this case, I'm using Python, and then whatever you want to do. You use the program language to tell the computer and in turn it will do what you want okay so that's just very first you you can you can probably i can yeah you can you can take this and you can start to do python programming now okay so that's one case okay the other one is um can you write novason okay so probably you know or oh, you write this this year or even before, um, one of the highest uh, roller coaster I think in Canada um, is pretty interesting. Um, so, but in order to write Leviathan, you need to meet some height requirements. So basically, you can write if you are taller than fifty four inch, then you can write Leviathan. Otherwise, you cannot, right? So that's some little uh, situation here, like if else, right? If you if your height is higher than fifty four inch, then you can write Leviathan. Otherwise, you cannot. Maybe try next year, right? Um, so now the question is, um, if you know your height, um, we want the computer to check and tell you if you can write Leviathan, Leviathan or not, right? So how do we do this? Okay, um, okay. So this there will be something like this. So this is your height. You can put your height here, sixty um, or sixty-five or seventy-two. Yeah, you can just put uh, uh, your height uh, here. And then the checking rule is if the height is great or equal to fifty-four, then yes, you can write Leviathan. Else. Sorry, maybe try next year, right? So we can do some coding like this. So just translate what's in your mind, what's the rule, and then translate that into the Python programming language, and then we can we can do it. So let's let me bring up my uh, Visual Studio, uh, my uh, code editor. Um, let's do that. Okay, just close this one and then create another one. Let's call it a demo. Lawson uh, py and uh, okay. Okay, so let's start with height. What's your height? You can type in your height. I'm just pretend uh, it's something like this, and then we say if height greater or equal to fifty-two inch, then it will say yes. You can write the lesson, okay? Else, let's make it a little bigger here. Um, say print. Sorry, maybe try uh, next year or whatever you want to <laughs> print. Uh, okay, so now. I pause here. I'm not going to write now. Um, I want you to guess. Like if I run this, what we're going to see here? I'm going to uh, create another poll quickly here. Um, so you can tell me, um, like what's the output? It's yes or no. Okay. Um, okay, so just based on what we heard, what we learned, and even this is Python, you may not have a programming experience before, but just based on what we learned, right? And um, so you say if the height is greater than um, 54, then
then yes. Otherwise, else is no, right? And now the height is 60. Okay. Let's uh let's see, let's see. Uh okay, I got lots of uh, response already. Uh, I give you another five seconds to response. Um just give it a guess. Nothing wrong to take an educated guess, right? Okay. Uh okay. Let's see, let's see. Um okay. Okay, now you see most of you vote for yes. Um, and we do have uh, different opinions, uh, say no, okay, it's very natural, uh, uh, it's, it's fine. Um, but most of you, majority of you say, uh, yeah, more than 90% of you saying, um, yes, okay. Let's try and see the result, okay. So, I'm just clean up my screen here. Let's see uh, what's the correct uh, answer. <laughs> Um, so here, I'm just going to click this uh, button, the wrong button. Okay, and I click on it and then say, yes, you can write Leverson. Okay, good job team. Okay, most of you got the correct answer. Okay, so now let's play this a little bit. If you say I'm not 60, I'm not, my height is not 60, I'm much higher than it, right? Okay, just uh, type in your height. Okay, here, um, can you write? I pause here, take a guess, yes or no. Can you write or not? Okay, let me run it. And obviously it's yes because uh, 61 is greater than 54. So the result is yes, you can write the lesson. Okay, how, much, how about your sister or, or little sister or little brother? Okay, uh, for example, they are grade three, they may just have like 50 uh, inch now. And so what's the, what could be the result? Can they write uh, Lovarius or not? If the height is 50. Okay, let's try it. Okay, I'm just going to click this button. Um, yeah, I say sorry, maybe try next year, right? Obviously 50 is not uh, greater than 54. So it will display else. So it's, it's else here. So that's how um, the, the programming works, right? Basically, uh, you use the programming language. In this case, it's Python. And then you type it into the program and the program will check in the data and will display the right information. Okay, so that's the idea of uh, programming. Uh, so let's just get started. Uh, and also, uh, just a little uh, quick example here. Uh, you may see some, if you like movie, I, I like movie, I watch movie a lot. I, I watch all kinds of movies. Um, so there's also like some, in many, many movies, right? Um, like someone tried to hack into the computer systems, um, uploading some virus or downloading some files, etc. right? So there's a lot of uh, like uh, movie like this and you see like, uh, um, the screen like keep going crazy, display uh, some information like this, like connect to server and try to upload the virus or transfer money to their own accounts, etc. Right? So there's a things like this, right? Uh, obviously we know movie is not uh, real, right? It's, it's all fake, right? Um, but how they do this? How they do like uh, show like something like this? Okay, let's try that. So now, um, what I'm trying to do here is, um, okay, I just make a screen a little bigger here. And then I'm going to do, um, okay, try this. Python. And then I'm going to do, uh, try this one. Okay, and let's see, okay. So now it's connect, try to connect to server and then try to access a system and try to guess password or kind of do the random like letters, try to guess, like just keep guessing. Oh, somehow they get access, so authentication passed and then they connect to the, the server and then they upload the virus. By the way, I'm not doing anything real. It's just like, just think it's a, like a, it's a sense of the movie, right? That's what we saw, okay? Um, is it real? Like we really like 
hacker some system uh, in this case. No, it's all a little Python coding behind the scenes. I generated something like this and then you can videotape this. Uh, so like makes like a movie uh, like someone hacking to like computer systems. Um, so if you take a look, uh, just a couple of lines of code here, right? So you see here, you like connect it to the server, obviously use a print, access uh, systems. Uh, so you, yeah, you see what happened here, right? Um, okay, connect to the server, eventually just do print, connect to server and access the system. Then you say print access system. And then here you print password. So you print password here and then it just display random password. At the end, you just uh, pl uh, print authentication pass and then you will see this. And then it's kind of say connected to this IP address is a number um, and uh, and then uploading various is it's here. So that's what you see here, right? So it's kind of all fake. But with this little help, we can be part of a, a making movie, okay? So um, it can use Python can be used in like all different ways, okay? Mm. Um, okay, yeah, I got some questions here. I may uh, turn to the question uh, later on, okay? Yeah, just keep get the question in. Um, so we kind of get a sense of the what's the computer, what's the programming, and we even see some like Python coding. You probably can start typing print hello world. So it's kind of, uh, uh, that's that's we uh, how, how we get started. But wait, who uses uh, Python? Like, who actually use it in the real world. It's turned out um, Google, YouTube, Instagram, NASA, I, I just name some of those. Many, many big, uh, big tech company, a telecommunication company, a government organize, a government, uh, governments, uh, all different governments and like companies, they are all using Python to do some serious uh, stuff. So Python, you, uh, NASA use Python to analysis uh, pictures um, taken from the Hubble uh, telescope, right? There's a huge amount of uh, um, like uh, pictures uh, of the space. So they use Python to analysis all those uh, pictures. So many, many big tech companies are using the uh, Python, uh, not just the uh, the tech companies, but also finance, banking, insurance company, uh, consulting company. They are all using uh, Python. So Python growing really, really fast. It's a, a real life skills uh, if you if you know how to do Python, and they use Python to do um, the stock prediction or manage data or or mining the data analysis data, uh, they use Python to do lots of things. So it's used by many, many uh, companies in the real life. Okay, um, so now you're probably wondering, okay, I kind of get a sense of uh, what is Python is and what's the Python coding looks like. Um, what can I do with Python? Okay, you show like hello world, but um, what else I can do with Python? Uh, it turns out uh, Python can be used in many, many different areas. You can use it for artificial intelligence, machine learning. That's the direction. Um, that's a very popular area. It's very actually very, very interesting. Um, you can, you can uh, with the artificial intelligence, you can create a program that can learn how to play game <laughs> and uh, how to analysis, how to predict, uh, etc. Uh, so it's very, very interesting area. You can also use the Python to do data science and data visualization. For example, you have lots of information about the stock, right? And then you can use the Python to visualize the trending of the price. And then you can make some uh, decision. Okay, so it's a very powerful Python. It's a very powerful tool to analysis data, to visualize data, okay? You can also use Python to control robots, right? I don't know if you see those uh, robots. Um, they can, uh, the dog, 
shape one and also the human shape one, they can actually walk around, they can open the door, they can do lots of things. Obviously, that's a, a very useful if we uh, have uh, something like this. Um, and um, uh, we could use Python to command, to instruct uh, what um, what they do, right? You can use Python to, um, to, to give them an instruction to perform certain specific tasks. Uh, obviously, you can also use Python to create a website. If you, if you have some cool idea of a website, uh, you can use Python to create one uh, with you, uh, yourself or with your uh, friends. Okay, so Python can be used uh, for lots of things. Okay. Um, so here is a quick video. It's like two minutes video. I'm going to play it. Uh, it's a uh, you will see how the Python used in uh, in this artificial intelligence. How Python control the robots. Uh, it's a two minutes video. Let me just play it. Okay, a uh, very short uh, video. So what happened here? So basically this is a very smart or AI dog. It's actually used by, uh, in the real life, um, New York uh, police, um, they are using this dog to do some uh, dangerous tasks. Um, so it probably you can see here, so it can work in different environments, like lightning, raining, slop, even open the door. So they have lots of sensor to know the surrounding, okay, temperature, humidity, lighting, or if you knock it down, <laughs> it can uh, stand up. So it has lots of sensor to know the surrounding and all those information uh, converted into a data model, data. And then in the core, there's an artificial intelligence algorithm to say based on the surrounding and based on your current uh, uh, position, what's the next possible actions or what's the next best, what's the best options you can take. You move to up, you move to right, you move to left, etc. And this process happens all the time, right? So uh, in the core that we cannot see is the artificial intelligence algorithm and the programming and the software, okay? Um, so here, if we take a look at this, uh, if we take a look at this, this is actually Python code. This is actually Python code. Okay. Um, okay, someone wants to say something. Probably you can leave the, yeah, put the, in the chat. In, at the end, I will have some Q&A session. Okay. Um, so, okay, so how can I get started? Okay. Um, 
So really, it's uh, the whole training program is through uh, the crawl, walk, and the run. Um, so uh, we will start from very beginning, level one, from zero knowledge. So I will walk you through the process. You will get very detailed uh, instruction. You will see the demo. Um, and then once you get comfortable with the coding, and then you will do uh, coding activities, and then we will move up to build a more interesting uh, program. Okay. And in the level one, there are there are more than uh, fifty fun coding activities. So you got opportunity. You have opportunity to put your hands on the programming, the coding. Start from very simple one. You will get the detailed instructions step by step, and then you will create some code. It could be um, yeah, it, it could be um, in all different uh, interesting areas. So there's a lot of a coding exercise. You can really feel the coding process so that's the way to um to 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 gain the coding experience okay okay so that's the starting point so we got uh, um after you got comfortable with python so what's the next so once you know the concept of programming you start doing coding activity you get yourself comfortable with coding uh, what's the next step? What could be the next step? So the whole program is uh, um, consists of four levels. So we are starting from level one, from very basic of uh, programming Python. We learn the basics of Python, and then we move up to learn more advanced Python skills, and then we will learn how to build a website, and then eventually we will learn uh, how to uh, create a, a artificial intelligence program uh, in Python. So there are four levels. So once you get comfortable with the Python basics, um, so you could move on to the level two and all the way to level four. And we will have lots of fun coding activities to do once we get more and more uh, Python programming skills. Okay. Um, okay, so now we are learning Python. We play with it. Probably most of you in school, um, elementary school or high school. And would Python help me in the long run? If I learn this, how Python help me in the long run? Okay, I mean university or even beyond. Um, okay, so Python is is the top programming language used to teach uh, computer introductory uh, courses in U.S. and also in uh, um, yeah in in the in the um, Canada as well. Okay. And in the real life, in the in the career, if you want to uh, use Python in, in, in as part of your career uh, skills, uh, you will you see here Python is is growing really really fast. It's growing really really fast, and the trending is it's uh, it will continue in next uh, years or decade. Okay, so that's the quick introduction of the uh, what is Python, what we can do with Python, and see a couple of demos. And uh, I also want to show something quickly here. So we talk about artificial intelligence. Let's do a smaller one, a uh -huh, very simple one, and do the translation. Okay, so basically we create a little program. It can read text. It can translate text into a different language, and it can, um, it can, uh, talk. Okay, so let's see how it works. Okay. Uh, okay. So I have a little translator. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So the program can read a content. So that's what you heard. It's in English. And then the program will translate that into French. And it will also speak French. Okay, let's see. Ma mère a toujours dit que la vie était comme une boîte de chocolat. Tu ne sais jamais ce que tu vas obtenir. Okay, so here is the French uh, translation, and you probably heard the French as well. Okay, so this is a little 
our program and uh, uh, we can also change to any other pro uh, other language we want to make to say uh, let's say Chinese okay uh, the only thing we need to change is here um, you saw FRCA means French in Canada and then we say ZH so that's the language code for Chinese as long as I change this uh, simple variable here and uh, it will translate uh, English into Chinese. Uh, let's see how it works. Okay. So here, mm -hmm. and then let me do the same here. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. So we heard the um the same uh, English content. So now let's see the translation part. Okay, so here you see the Chinese translation and you probably also heard the um the program actually talk in Chinese, right? So just change this. Let's see. Um probably you don't like make sense all of this code, but just say how easy it is. Just uh, with like 18 lines of code, we can do this uh, um, translation. We can have a program can actually talk the, um, can, can actually talk in different languages. Okay, just like less than 20 lines of code. So it's quite powerful. Okay. Uh, another thing I want to quickly show you here is that we talk about the visualization, like um, display something. We can do this in uh, in Python as well. Okay. 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 So when we run the application, uh, it's try to draw something on, on, on this surface um, and basically we tell the program just keep doing this uh, you draw a line and turn a certain degree and then uh, just keep doing this um, so probably you see um, it start from here go here and then it turn a certain degree and go here and turn certain degree and move forward turn certain degree and move forward it's repeat the same process again and again. At the end, we say, okay, painting uh, in yellow. Okay, so that's what we saw here. So just with Python, we can do all kinds of different things. Okay, so with that, I'm going to run another quick poll here. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um what can you do with Python? It's a multiple choice, okay. Based on what you heard, what do you think Python can do? What can you do with Python? Just based on what you heard today. Okay, um, okay, give you five more seconds. Okay, um, 
68% say it can create a website, uh, 84 say it can create a game, and uh, yeah, 68 say artificial intelligence and six. Yeah, so it turns out Python can do all of them, right? As we mentioned earlier, Python can do all of them. So, uh, okay, good job, team. Okay, so um, okay, so here is the Python with AI level one uh, schedule. Uh, it's a ten weeks of program, uh, two hours on Sundays, and there are also a Q and A session. So if you have any questions uh, when you do the coding, you can always join the Q and A session to get some help uh, to make your study uh, process easier.